Hello everyone and welcome to this edition of Video Ask a Master where we discuss all things Mimeo. My name is Paul and I am a full-time social studies teacher located right outside of Cleveland, Ohio. I also serve several capacities for Mimeo as a Mimeo Master, a Mimeo Quick Learn Instructor, and the Mimeo Connect Site Manager. We had a great question come in today submitted by LaDonna who asked, how can I import documents into my Mimeo Studio notebook? And this is sort of sometimes what I like to refer to as the million dollar question because every time I am out and about doing a live training session in a school, I often get asked this same question. They say, if I have PowerPoints or if I have Word documents or if I have PDF files, can I use them with Mimeo and Mimeo Studio Notebook? And of course, the answer is yes, yes, and yes. Now, of course, why would I want to go ahead and import documents into my Mimeo Studio Notebook? Well, let's go ahead and have a look. I mean, obviously, as a teacher, you probably have a treasure trove of materials, tried and true materials that you have used for years. And these might include things like Word documents, PDF files you've scanned in, and of course the ever popular PowerPoint. I know when I first started using Mimeo, I had a pile of PowerPoints that I had created, which I thought were really, really cool. But of course, PowerPoint only goes so far. It allows you to display information, display your content, allows your students to uh, have a little different experience than the old-fashioned overhead, but not much. The nice part about Mimeo, of course, is that you can add interactivity to those same types of lessons that you used to do on the old-fashioned PowerPoint by using our Mimeo Studio Notebook, and I'll show you a quick example of that. The best part about Mimeo Studio Notebook is the fact that you don't have to reinvent the wheel because you can take your old static two-dimensional PowerPoints and Word documents and PDF files and you can bring them right into Mimeo Studio Notebook which leaves you now time to create interactive activities rather than reinventing the wheel. So we can build on the activities and the materials that you already have. Let me show you a quick example of what I'm talking about here. Here's a PowerPoint uh, that I use when I teach the 13 colonies in my social studies class and you can see that I've brought my PowerPoint slides right into Mimeo Notebook. In fact, when you import PowerPoint, it'll make a notebook page for each one of your PowerPoint slides. Here I have the content and again, it's two-dimensional. It's very static. I can't do a whole lot with it. I can't really have the kids engaged in the content. Sure, it looks real pretty, but at the end of the day, really all I'm doing is sharing and, and discussing this content with them. Where Mimeo comes in though, of course, is that now I can import this PowerPoint. I can share that content like I normally would, but I can also use my Mimeo Studio Notebook software to create interactive activities that are going to go ahead and enrich that experience for the students. And for example here, I have my uh, 13 Colonies uh, jigsaw puzzle here where the kids have to come up and actually put uh, the colonies together. So we can take the static PowerPoint that I have and I can now use my Mimeo Studio software to add to that and to create an interactive activity. Now how can I do that? Well the process of importing a Word, PowerPoint, or PDF file into Mimeo Studio is very, very simple. Basically all I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my Mimeo Studio notebook. Then I'm going to go up to the insert button at the top of the page. I'm going to click on that button and then I'm going to scroll on down to where I see file. Clicking on file will then open in my open menu for me which will allow me to browse all over my computer for any document file that I'd like to import into my Mimeo notebook. All I have to do then is find the file on my computer, click on it, and then click open and your Mimeo Studio Notebook will do the rest. It'll go ahead, it'll take that document, and it'll bring it right in. Again, if you have a PowerPoint, it will make a Mimeo Studio Notebook page for each PowerPoint slide. If you have a Word document, it'll make a Mimeo Studio Notebook page for every page of your Word document. Same with PDF. So let's go ahead and let's give it a try. I'm going to go on up to Insert. I'm going to go down to File. I get that open menu and now I'm going to look around and let's see here I have oh this one looks fun I have a word document here I click on the file now I'm clicking open and what's going to happen now is my Mimeo is going to drag it in and you'll see how it gets imported very easily 
So now if you notice over here in my thumbnail view, and I'll make it a little bit bigger for our demonstration here, you will notice that I have taken this regular Word document and I've imported it, and my Mimeo Studio notebook has made its own page. Now I know what a lot of people are going to say. They're going to say, well, Paul, that's great, but look at how small it is. How in the world am I going to work with that? Well, of course, we can go up into our Mimeo tools, and then I can go ahead and I can use my zoom in feature and I can zoom in on any one of these problems for example that are on the page oops I guess that's a little bit too much I can zoom in any of those and now using my Mimeo tools I can have the students come on up and answer them we could use our pens we could use our line tools we could highlight and then of course when we're done we could simply go back and move on to the next problem so now here's an interactive way to take my old static worksheet and turn it into something that your kids are going to love, your kids are going to be engaged in. Then, of course, just like in my example, I could also create additional supplementary activities using my Mimeo tools, which are far more interactive uh, than just having the kids do the worksheet at their desks. So again, importing documents into your Mimeo notebook, very, very easy. All we're going to do, of course, is we're going to go ahead and we're going to go up to Insert then file open click on the file that we want and you should have no problem importing it one final side note we can also import documents by using the, a button on our Mimeo tools known as the insert file button it's right above your color squares there it kinda looks like a file folder with an arrow go ahead and click on that file folder and I'm gonna get that same open menu as well so that's just another way to import documents into your Mimeo studio notebook I want to thank you so much for joining me for this edition of Video Ask a Master. If you have an Ask a Master question, we want to hear it. All you have to do is visit MimeoConnect.com, Ask a Master section, and one of our uh, staff of Mimeo Masters will get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you so much, and have a tremendous day.